Welcome back to Midas Letter Live. My guest in this segment is Brent Charlton, CEO of N-Wave Corporation, trading on the TSXV under the symbol ENW. Brent, welcome. Thanks very much. Brent, give us an overview. What is it that N-Wave does? Uh, N-Wave has developed a proprietary low temperature dehydration technology that can remove moisture very quickly and gently from organic materials. Hmm. And uh, marijuana or cannabis is one material that we excel in drying very okay. quickly. Interesting, so you're in the business of drying cannabis for LTs. We are in the business of licensing out our intellectual property, which protects the machines that we sell to various food manufacturers, pharmaceutical manufacturers, and more recently, cannabis licensed producers in Canada. Hmm. Interesting, What and so, the radiant energy vacuum, I guess, is at the core of this, Th that's this technology? That's right. Yeah, we combine vacuum with microwave mm -hmm. and create a low temperature drying environment that is homogeneous. So in cannabis, we can get down to you know the 8 to 15% threshold for a combustible product, mm -hmm. or if you want to dry down to 1 to 2% for the purpose of extraction, we can also do that very efficiently. Hmm. Okay, and so companies that want to use your technology just pay you a licensing fee and you send them a specification? Yeah, typically how our partnership operation works is that we will do test work with the licensed partner to prove you know, the quantifiable measures which will uh, justify the licensing fees for using our drying technology. Um, some of the other benefits is reduced footprint of drying. Mm -hmm. The time typically is less than one hour to go from cut product to again a shelf stable either combustible product or, or product used for extraction. Sure. So how many LPs are using your technology right now? Currently, uh, we have a commercial license sign with Tilray. Okay. Uh, they purchased two continuous large-scale lines, one for installation at their Inniskillen facility in Ontario, and the other for their Portuguese operations, as well as a small, let's say, pilot unit for their Nanaimo facility. We're also testing uh, actively with three other major players in the space and have other, I would say, more preliminary discussions with about nine others. Hmm. Okay, sounds great. Then uh, how long have you guys been doing this technology? A long time, oh, a long time. Okay. So it originated out of the University of British Columbia, but it wasn't truly commercial until about 2012. Mm -hmm. And then it still took some time to implement the business model, the licensing royalty business model, uh, with mainly food manufacturers. Yep. And more recently, we've, we found our surface value for our partners in the cannabis space, which is starting to proliferate. Yeah, fantastic. Um, where does the technology originate? Uh, so it was developed at the University of British Columbia by our ex-CEO, Dr. Tim Durantz, and a group of very talented food scientists and engineers. Mm -hmm. And then with the help of capital raised through the public markets, they were able to scale up that technology to the point where we started to satisfy these global CPG companies' needs, and, and also in the pharmaceutical space for vaccination, dehydration, and probiotics, et cetera. I see. And so what is the, like, so this thing can, what rate of processing can it handle? So a single continuous line can produce about 45 metric tons of uh, dried cannabis per year, okay. running an eight hour shift, assuming 50 weeks of operation. So it, it can hmm. dry a lot of cannabis very quickly. And is, so this, does it do it uh, obviously faster than if you just left it out drying? Exactly, um, and that's the whole point, is that we can dry, again, in under one hour, mm -hmm. and, and also it's a continuous process. So theoretically, you could run that machine 24, seven days a week if the need was there. All right. With no downtime. Okay, so uh, your plan is to market this to LPs around the world as they proliferate in this new cannabis regime? Yeah, exactly. So we want to ensure that they're fully aware of the immense value proposition of using our technology over the traditional means. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the quantifiable data is available in regards to 100% retention of CBD and THC, as well as terpene retention that is, has been reviewed favorably on smoking panels um, okay. that have been conducted. Huh, so the effect of drawing it out this way does not negatively impact the premium flower aspect for a consumer. Exactly, and, and for production purposes also, because we all offer a tray system as well as a drum system, um, the tray system has an open flower aspect to the dried product, so it's better for trimming post-dry. Mm -hmm. um, the drum system, typically you want to uh, have the trim done before you're drying the flower, otherwise it will wrap around. So we have right? some multiple uh, multiple mechanisms to do the drying. Huh. Okay, so how do you get uh, other LPs aware of this and using this technology? Well, uh, a lot of knocking on doors and making phone calls and connecting with the right people. And I think 
we are connected with many of the right people in the industry today. Yeah. And uh, next steps after making contact is having them out to Vancouver, to our pilot plant facility, show the machinery firsthand. We've got dozens of commercial installations globally in the food space mainly. Right. Um, so we have uh, some actually in Southern Ontario here that can be made available for viewing. Okay, great. Well then, we'll help spread the message, Brent. That's Please a great do. introductory interview and we will come back to you in a quarter's time and see how you're doing. Thanks great. for joining me today. Thank you very much, James. Thank you.